everyone, I'm Jessica Blackbird. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And before I get on with this video, I would sincerely like to send a big thank you once again to Tisa Tells for shouting me out last night and sending some subscribers my way. I definitely was not expecting her to be so super kind and just do this for me you guys like that was amazing it just filled my heart up so much so once again i thank you tisa and also you guys if you're not subscribed to her channel she's trying to reach a million so go over there and hit the subscription and the notify bell and um and she's very very animated she gets down to the nitty gritty of everything and she explains things super, super well, especially when it's dealing with the law, I find. She's very, very knowledgeable. So enough of this. Thank you so much. Let me get to this Kanye West photo. Okay, so I was just listening to his interview that he did with Tucker Carlson. And although I think it was very... um just a crazy thing to put on the White Lives Matter shirt because he and Candace had to obviously know that it was going to cause a big uproar. And whatever he wanted to accomplish with that shirt or sweater totally backfired and he is now looking in every corner for a friend. So I was looking at this photo from about seven days ago and I just kept saying, what are those marks on his face? And his his mouth looks like um, something's going on with it. <clears throat> and so I zoomed in like this to look see guys it looks like there's blood under his mustache see right there and his mouth looks like someone punched him and then he has this big red mark on the side of his face so did he get hit by someone i don't know that's a question that i'm asking what do you guys think but let me read a snippet of an article by daily mail because they noticed too. So Daily Mail states Kanye West sports mysterious red marks on his face with a Balenciaga mouth guard as he arrives at the Givenchy show during Paris Fashion Week. He always makes sure to make a fashion statement with his look and Kanye West step out with mystery red marks on his face and a Balenciaga mouth guard as he arrived at the Givenchy show during Paris Fashion Week. And I know it's pronounced differently, you guys, but I can't pronounce it the way they do the Givenchy or whatever, you know. The rapper, 45, who now goes by Ye, donned an all-black ensemble consisting of a hoodie and straight leg trousers for the event on Sunday. And so there's even video, you guys, if you go to Daily Mail, you can even see video of him uh, walking around with this mark on his face. And you guys, Kanye just looks um, in, in this photo and in the videos, he just looks paranoid and just thrown off a bit, you know. So back to the article. The Givenchy event showcased the couture brand's women's wear ready to wear spring summer 2023 with a host of celebrity guests turning up to see what the collections the collection has to offer this week kanye teased balenciaga's upcoming runway show for the summer 2023 collection on his instagram on wednesday while he is not currently posting content on his main grid he took to his stories to share an image of a dirty old car that had the details scrawled on the window and hood. It read Balenciaga, followed by Summer 23 Collection, 
October 2nd, 2022, 1130 a.m. on Balenciaga.com. So it just goes on and on to talk about the show and, you know, how he's collaborated with Balenciaga and Yeezy Gap and all of this stuff. But no one seemed to talk about the marks on his face. Not very many publications. So when I noticed, I started looking to see if anyone else had noticed it. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that he got hit by someone? Or do you think that it's a stunt to get people talking like I think those White Lives Matter shirts were? Now, don't get me wrong. White Lives Matter. 100% they do. Every person on this earth, no matter the color of your skin, you matter. We all do. However, the reason for Black Lives Matter was because there were so many black, unarmed black people being shot down by police. It was brought to a whole new level when we sat and watched Derek Chauvin kneel on the back of George Floyd's neck until he took his last breath. And I think that changed everyone in this country and around the world to see how people were begging this police officer to get off of his neck. They could see the life leaving this man and it doesn't matter what he did in his past what crimes he committed he was not fighting back he was not resisting and the more people were asking this cop to get off of him it seemed the more he enjoyed what he was doing and that is just my opinion so that is how Black Lives Matter was created. Like the movement started, it started, but it really blew up at that point. And so Black Lives Matter, White Lives Matter, it was all made into a political stunt, political agenda to further separate all of us, I think. So, it's not that he wore a shirt that says White Lives Matter, because they do. It's that it kind of seemed like a slap in the face, in my opinion, because he wore the shirt with Candace, which I, I do like a lot of Candace's points, Candace Owens, but she has said so many horrible things about George Floyd, bringing up his criminal history um, to justify him being, in my opinion, murdered for all the public to see. And I'm not anti-cop anyone. I'm, cause I'm too afraid not to be able to call 911. So, you know, if anything ever happened with me, I will be dialing 911 and just praying that we get good cops. But I'm not for defunding. I'm for educating and making sure that you're not putting racists uh, against any uh, demographic in those pow positions of power because they do hold power over us, you know? Anyway. Um, so I think what really threw people into a fit was that he was there with Candace and Candace has also spoken out a lot against Black Lives Matter. So you guys, I agree with Candace on the organization Black Lives Matter, not the movement. The movement is and was needed. But the organization, I totally agree. They are anti-family. They are pro-abortion. And in my opinion, those are my opinions about the organization. They're thieves. They used 
black lives, dead black people, and they use these people to enrich themselves. So, I agree with her on that. But we still need the movement. So, you know, Kanye, he does some really outlandish things. I think that he believes he cannot be destroyed. But sometimes you have to keep your mouth shut and think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. Because people are so on the ready to cancel and to harm another person for their beliefs. But anyway, you guys, I know I went off on a tangent and gave all of my opinions. But, you know, it's the topic now. So what do you guys think is going on with his face? Do you think it was a stunt or do you think that he got a beat down and we just don't know who gave it to him um let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next video and thanks to all the new subscribers who subscribed coming from tisa's uh channel i appreciate it so so very much and i hope i don't disappoint all right you guys See you in the next video.